In April of 2020, an intriguing image captured by NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory sparked widespread debate among those interested in the possibility of extraterrestrial activity. The photograph, taken by the Lasco C3 camera, appears to show a large cube-shaped object positioned close to the Sun. Its striking geometry and placement in the vast expanse of space have fueled speculation about what it could be and why it might be there. The image soon made its way into various online communities and groups dedicated to UFO research. Within these circles, many pointed out that cube-shaped anomalies have occasionally been spotted not just near the Sun, but also close to the Moon. What makes these reports even more curious is that some observers claim to have seen these cube-like shapes moving around the Moon when reviewing footage or images from space observatories. Such claims have intensified the mystery, suggesting that these shapes could be under intelligent control rather than being random cosmic debris or image artifacts. Over the past few years, respected scientists such as Avi Loeb, a Harvard University professor of science and well-regarded theoretical physicist, have become more open to the idea that interstellar visitors might exist. Loeb's public discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial technology, particularly in reference to unusual astronomical objects, have encouraged many to consider that these sightings could represent probes sent by advanced civilizations. The cube's perfectly angular appearance has led some to dismiss the idea that it is a naturally occurring object. Nature rarely forms such symmetrical shapes in space without some form of specific geological or artificial process. This has led to the intriguing theory that it could be an advanced probe, similar in concept to the ones humanity has launched to other planets in our solar system, such as Mars and Jupiter. The idea that advanced civilizations might send out probes is not only the stuff of science fiction, but also a reasonable concept grounded in logic. Human history already provides a template for this kind of exploration. Our own missions, Voyager, Pioneer and New Horizons, have shown that probes are invaluable tools for learning about distant worlds without the need to send human crews. Probes can endure harsh conditions, operate without life support systems and continue functioning for decades, all while traveling immense distances. If humanity, a relatively young technological civilization, can create machines capable of leaving the solar system, then it stands to reason that older and more advanced civilizations could design far more capable devices. These might incorporate self-repair capabilities, artificial intelligence, and possibly even methods of communication or travel that exceed our current understanding. A probe of such sophistication could easily remain functional for centuries, gathering data and transmitting it across light years. From a theoretical perspective, sending automated probes makes sense as a first step in interstellar exploration. The distances between stars are so vast that crewed missions may be impractical, especially for civilizations without faster-than-light travel. Probes, on the other hand, can be dispatched in large numbers to explore multiple star systems simultaneously. They could use gravitational assists to gain speed or employ propulsion systems far beyond our current capabilities. Some scientists have even considered the possibility of von Neumann probes, self-replicating machines that could construct copies of themselves using raw materials found on planets, asteroids or moons. In this way, a single probe could seed countless others, gradually mapping and monitoring vast regions of a galaxy without requiring ongoing support from its creators. Such a system could explain why objects of strange shapes, like the cube near the Sun, might appear in various locations within our solar system over time. It is also conceivable that these probes might be designed to operate covertly, revealing themselves only under certain circumstances, or appearing in forms that could be mistaken for natural phenomena or technical glitches in imagery. The cube's sudden appearance in solar and heliospheric observatory images, followed by its absence in later frames, has led some to suggest that it may have been stationary for hours before moving away, or perhaps even leaving the vicinity entirely. Skeptics argue that anomalies like the cube could be the result of pixelation errors, cosmic rays striking the camera sensor, or digital processing artifacts. While such possibilities are real, proponents of the probe theory point to repeated sightings of similar shapes over time as reason to keep an open mind. The fact that these shapes have been reported in multiple contexts near both the Sun and Moon suggests to them that there may be more to the story than technical glitches. If the cube were indeed an artificial construct, its location near the Sun 
could have strategic advantages. The Sun's position in the solar system offers a unique vantage point for observing planetary orbits, solar activity, and potential deep space traffic entering from beyond. An advanced probe might use this position to collect data, harness solar energy, or simply remain hidden in an environment hostile to most forms of detection. In the end, the photograph of the cube-shaped object close to the Sun remains unexplained. It sits at the intersection of science, speculation, and mystery. For those who see it as evidence of advanced technology, it offers a tantalizing hint that humanity may not be alone in its quest to explore the stars. For those who approach it cautiously, it is a reminder that not all anomalies in space imagery can be taken at face value and that careful analysis is needed before drawing conclusions. What is certain is that this image has reignited public curiosity about the possibilities beyond Earth. Whether the cube is an extraordinary example of alien engineering, an advanced interstellar probe, or simply a quirk of camera technology, it encourages continued observation, deeper investigation, and open-minded discussion. Until definitive answers are found, it remains a fascinating mystery, one that reminds us that the universe is full of surprises, many of which may still be waiting to be discovered. Over the past several years, NASA has released dozens of photographs taken by solar observatories that appear to show mysterious cube-shaped objects positioned near the Sun. These unusual shapes have sparked curiosity and debate among researchers, enthusiasts, and those who study unidentified aerial phenomena. The cube form, with its clean angles and geometric precision, stands out in a setting dominated by the chaotic, swirling patterns of solar plasma. Such sightings represent a unique and unexpected facet of the ongoing discussion about unexplained objects in our cosmic neighborhood. The Sun's environment is highly active and dynamic, marked by immense magnetic fields, frequent solar flares, and intense bursts of energy. It is a place where temperatures soar to extremes and radiation levels would overwhelm most known technologies. For this reason, the notion of structured, cube-like objects appearing in close proximity to the Sun is especially intriguing. If these shapes are genuine physical objects, their presence challenges current scientific understanding, raising questions about their durability, purpose, and origin. At the same time, scientists recognize that capturing images in such a volatile and energetic environment comes with inherent challenges. Instruments used to observe the Sun, whether on spacecraft like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory or other solar missions, must process immense amounts of light and radiation. Under such conditions, the possibility of visual anomalies is significant. Optical artifacts, glitches in imaging systems, and interference from cosmic rays can sometimes produce shapes, including cube-like formations, that do not represent real objects. In some cases, gaps in data transmission or errors in image processing can create patterns that mimic artificial structures. Yet, the speculation surrounding these sightings is not easily dismissed. The idea that cube-shaped objects could represent advanced technology is an enticing, though highly speculative, possibility. If such objects are indeed evidence of an extraterrestrial presence, it would prompt profound questions about the motives and capabilities of those who created them. Why would such entities operate close to the Sun, a region so hazardous to most forms of matter and machinery? Could the Sun be a point of interest for energy collection, scientific study, or as a vantage point for observing the planets within our solar system. In considering such possibilities, the scientific community emphasizes the need for careful analysis. The presence of cube-shaped forms in solar imagery requires rigorous investigation to distinguish between true anomalies and explainable phenomena. Researchers study sequences of images, compare data from different instruments, and analyze light spectra to determine whether these objects behave like real physical bodies or whether they can be attributed to known issues in data acquisition. This process demands patience and caution, as premature conclusions can mislead both the public and scientific discourse. The search for answers could also drive advancements in observational technology. If scientists aim to resolve the true nature of these cube-shaped sightings, they may develop new instruments capable of capturing higher resolution data or filtering out interference more effectively. Improved imaging systems and refined data processing techniques would not only help clarify the mystery of the cubes, but also enhance our broader understanding of solar phenomena. Better tools could reveal details about the Sun's magnetic activity, surface structures and particle emissions, 
leading to breakthroughs in space weather forecasting and astrophysics. Even if many of these cube-like appearances turn out to have ordinary explanations, whether as optical distortions or fleeting debris, the unexplained cases remain valuable. They encourage scientists to revisit and test their assumptions about how the Sun interacts with objects in its vicinity. If something unconventional is present, it might be engaging with the Sun's magnetic fields, radiation or plasma in ways that challenge existing models. Such interactions could provide new insights into both astrophysics and the durability of advanced technologies in extreme environments. As with all extraordinary claims, skepticism is essential. The concept of cube-shaped objects near the Sun has captured public imagination precisely because it offers the possibility of a dramatic discovery. However, responsible scientific inquiry requires a balance between open-mindedness and critical evaluation. Multiple explanations must be considered, from the mundane to the extraordinary, and evidence must be weighed carefully. Each step toward understanding requires transparency, peer review, and the willingness to revise theories when new data emerges. Ultimately, the significance of these sightings lies not only in the question of whether the cubes are real, physical objects, but also in the curiosity they inspire. They push the boundaries of our understanding and challenge us to look more closely at our nearest star. Whether they are artifacts of our instruments or visitors from elsewhere, they remind us that the universe is full of surprises. The process of investigating such anomalies strengthens scientific practice, sharpens technological capabilities, and fuels a sense of wonder about our place in the cosmos. As of now, the mysterious cube-shaped objects observed in NASA's solar images remain an open question. They exist at the intersection of natural science, technological speculation, and human imagination. Possible explanations range from optical artifacts and sensor malfunctions to advanced probes built by civilizations far older than our own. While definitive answers are elusive, the mere act of pursuing them expands our knowledge and appreciation of the universe. These sightings remind us that science is not only about finding answers, but also about embracing the unknown and allowing it to guide us toward deeper exploration. In that sense, the cubes near the sun, whatever they may be, are not just anomalies. They are invitations to keep looking upward, to question, and to seek understanding in the vast expanse of space.